Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is Royal Rumble predictions. Yes, we are in the Royal Rumble season, which means we are in the road to WrestleMania. Wow, I can't believe it's been a year since last year's Royal Rumble. It literally felt like Edge made his return like three months ago. I can't believe it's been a year and, you know, I haven't made a prediction video in so long. I'm going to be doing it every single month again. I just want to say thank you for all the support lately. And let's get right into this video. Match number one, the United States champion Bobby Lashley versus Riddle. In my opinion, I mean, I, this is probably the worst match on the card. We literally saw this match two weeks ago on Raw, I'm pretty sure. And I don't want to see it again. And I have no interest. Obviously, I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley on this. I think he's going to win this match. That's really all I have on this rival, uh, if I'm being honest. Next match, WWE Women's Tag Team Championship, Asuka and Charlotte Flair versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Now... You know what's weird? I literally thought of this earlier while I was making this video. Charlotte Flair and Asuka are the tag team champions, right? But both of them are in different storylines. Asuka's in a storyline with Alexa Bliss. Charlotte Flair is in a storyline with Lacey Evans. But yet, they're the tag team championship. Doesn't make sense. Not at all. I don't know why they're the tag team champions. My prediction is for them to win. But how does this make any sense? Why don't you give the tag team titles to an actual tag team? Like Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot. Or I don't know why you separate the Iconics or give it to them. Your tag team division in the women's are not that big. Point proven, look what you're doing. These two are not a tag team. These two are not a tag team. You're separating tag teams and putting random tag teams together. I don't understand this or this. I really don't. I hope this ends soon because Charlotte Flair and Oscar are not even tag teams. They don't even act like tag teams. They don't even acknowledge each other on Monday Night Raw. It's weird, if you think of it, in my opinion, at least. Anyways, WWE Universal Championship, Roman Reigns versus Owens. I don't know why I put Owens. Kevin Owens in the last man standing match. Now, I'm in the... Oh my god, I lost my wording. I'm in the minority here. I'd rather watch Roman Reigns versus Adam Pearce. Now, before anyone comments... I'll explain why, obviously. So, we've never seen Roman Reigns versus Adam Pearce. And to me, it's something different, and I'm interested. Is it just me? I know a lot of people were, you know, bashing WWE, saying, oh, why are we getting Roman Reigns versus Adam Pearce? We've seen Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns at TLC and on Christmas. On the Christmas episode of SmackDown. I don't want to see it for the third time, to be honest. I do. It will be a good match. No doubt about it. But we just saw it two times. Adam Pearce versus Roman Reigns. We have never saw it before. It's something different. I'm all in for, you know, changing things because WWE just sticks with the same old BS. And here we are again with this match. But when Kevin Owens cut his promo two weeks ago in his car talking about his grandfather and you know, all that this got me invested in the storyline and now i'm interested and knowing it's a last man standing match we know something's gonna happen and i can't wait so my prediction roman reigns next match is drew mcintyre versus goldberg now if you guys saw my video on goldberg returning you know I am not, well, I shouldn't make myself more clear. I'm fine with this match happening 
only, okay, only if Drew McIntyre wins. Only if you put over the champion. I'm fine with this match happening, okay? But I'm not fine if a part-timer, like, I'm fine if, like, you know, John Cena wins the title. Don't get me wrong. But Goldberg, a guy that could barely wrestle anymore. I should just change this to Oldberg at this point. Please, WWE. That's all I'm going to say. They're, they're tricking with us right now. I know WWE. They're having a blast right now. This match, these are the matches I like because it's unpredictable. Like Obviously, we know Roman Reigns is going to win this match. These are the type of matches that I'm all for. Because you really want someone to win, which is Drew McIntyre. So, I'm going to go Drew McIntyre, fingers crossed. I'll be for sure making a video about this if Goldberg wins. It might be a rant. Definitely a rant <laughs> after rethinking that. Um, that's really all I'm going to say about this match is I hope WWE is just playing with us and they give us the right result because there's been rumors saying Goldberg is going to lose this match against... Did I say Goldberg or Drew McIntyre? There are rumors saying Goldberg is going to lose this match and then win the Royal Rumble. I hope that that does not happen. And then we're going to get Goldberg versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. I really hope, pray to God, that that does not happen. I've had enough of Goldberg. Please, just no. Okay? Next one. One out of the two Royal Rumbles. Let's go with the Women's Royal Rumble. So before, actually, we get to this, um, please stop saying that Becky Lynch is returning. Please. Like, what makes you think in your mind? There we go. I'll put that there. What makes you think in your mind that Becky Lynch is going to return after having a baby literally a month ago? Like, come on. You have to have more common sense than that. Seth Rollins hasn't even returned yet. And you're going to think the person that gave birth is going to return before the guy that didn't? Think this through. Let Becky Lynch spend time at home. Okay? Please, just stop saying Becky Lynch is going to return. She's not. And she won't. And I think she won't return till next year's Royal Rumble, if I'm being completely honest. Even without, you know, everything that's going on in the world right now, I think she wouldn't return. It's been a month. Calm down. She's not going to return. So, now, let's get on to the actual match. Women's Royal Rumble. Who do I have winning? Well, Bianca Belair. I think Bianca Belair is going to win this match. I don't know about 100%. There might be a swerve. Who knows? But my want is Bianca Belair. So my prediction, Bianca Belair. My want, Bianca Belair. You guys know me. I'm a Bianca Belair fan. And all I'm going to say is imagine a match between Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks at WrestleMania for the belt. I mean, it's kind of a dream match in my opinion. So... I hope we get that match. I hope Bianca Belair wins. And she's coming out with a WWE documentary on Saturday, the day before Royal Rumble. That's kind of hinting at something, in my opinion. I don't know. I might be the only one. But that's who I have winning. Uh, Men's Royal Rumble. Who do I have winning this one? If you asked me a month ago, I would say I have no idea. But now... I've narrowed it down to just one person. I was originally going to have two. I'm going to have one. And I think Daniel Bryan is going to win. And he will face Roman Reigns for the title. And my want is Daniel Bryan. I really want Daniel Bryan to win. And you're probably wondering why. Well, you know, they hinted that he's never won a Royal Rumble before. That's one. He's been, put, he's been putting other talent over, which... You know, Goldberg doesn't. And Daniel Bryan's going to become a part-time wrestling soon. He even stated that on Talking Smack. He's going to become a part-timer soon. 
So let's enjoy the last little bit of Daniel Bryan before he comes a part-timer. So I'm all for Daniel Bryan winning the Royal Rumble. But that's my prediction for this year's Royal Rumble. I don't even know why The Rock's there. And hold on. Why? I noticed this too. Why is The Fiend not the Women's Royal Rumble? Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I haven't been this pumped for a pay-per-view in the longest time. So, comment down below your excitement for Royal Rumble. Mine's a 10. Other than that, peace.